How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 30 in my introduction to Python series. A um, couple of tutorials back we went over reading files. This tutorial we are going over the next thing which is writing files. So you have some sort of data like say high score. You want your high score saved so that you know it's still there the next time you run your program. That's what this tutorial is about, writing to a file. So um, yeah let's get started open up notepad plus plus and all I've done to get ready for this video is create this uh, file called hello.txt which just says hello world in it ignore all these pages to the left of it there it is my website pages I'm working on and the only thing I've done for this file which is called write file.py um, is just put over the method that we already know how to use from the uh, reading files as well which is uh, the open method and it's going to open our hello.txt uh, file. Now I did mention when we're reading a file you don't have to put anything in but the default mode is R. So that's the reading mode and I told you not to bother to put anything in because that's the default mode that it's put in so we didn't have to. Well today we're going to write to our uh, file so the mode we have to put our file in is writing mode so we open our file and the mode we're putting in is write mode so that we can write to this file and without further ado let's actually write this now before I forget let's close this uh, text file at the end of our program so text.close don't forget that so to actually write to the file not that hard at all you just take your file name and use the write method what gets passed in here is some sort of string. I'm just going to say written by our program. Okay, and let's save this and run and see what we got so far. Now, I'm already in the folder where I have this saved. You know, navigate through PowerShell or Terminal to where you have this saved if you haven't. And another thing to mention, uh, the uh, hello.txt and the write file.py files are in the same folder. So keep that in mind. And let's actually launch this. So Python, um, I got an interaction mode, although you don't have to. And uh, I'm going to load writefile.py. It doesn't actually do anything. But when we go back to Notepad++, you'll notice this message I get prompted with here. Um, Hello.txt, this file has been modified by another program. Do you want to reload it? Yes. And you'll see our message is now written there, written by our program. So it took the file and it wrote it. When it's in this W, so write mode, what it does, if the file does not exist, it'll create it. So let's just give an example here. Um, so just going to re-launch this program. Eh, I'm going to take it out of interaction mode actually because I don't think we're going to need to access variables in this tutorial. So we run it. Let's actually go to where I have this saved, which is in my C drive, in a folder I call source in Python. And you can see right here, we now have this called hello2.txt. So if the file does not exist, it creates it. If the file does exist, it just overwrites it with our message. But what if you don't want to lose what you had? Like, just say you just wanted to add to the message. You didn't want to uh, have it destroyed. So let's just put it back to what we had it at. Hello world. And how we're going to do that, we're going to change the mode from W to A. And what that stands for is append. So it takes the file you have and then it just appends when we write to the end of that file. Um, it doesn't do it on a new line. Wherever the file stops, it's going to append to. So it's going to append our message right here where our cursor is right now. So let's run that. Okay, I just realized something. I still have it as hello too, so I better change that. Okay, now it's going to work fine. Yes, we want to reload it. And you can see it wrote right to the end. Now, uh, we um, have um, it lining up right where the file ended. That's where the message is printed out. If you wanted it on a new line, it's very simple. You put a backslash n. And you can also do the same thing if you want a tab. You can put a backslash t, stuff like that. So let's run this again. 
Yep. And you'll see we got a new line now appended to it. It went down to the next line, put a tab in there, and that's how you can do it. Now, with my example that I was trying to go over, I'm going to create... Um, I'm just going to wipe this. going to completely delete that. Actually, no, I'm not. I'll just put the Hello World back. Now, um, say you wanted to save a high score. That's simple. Um, we could have a name variable. So name equals Adam. Oops, i got to put quotation marks around that to make it a string. Uh, score. You have the user's score. And uh, let's just say my high score was 2,000 points. Okay. We could write to this file. And what we could do is put the name. And then we could put a tab separating the name and the score. And then I could put my score. So str and pass in my score. So now we have our file saved, um, or my high score saved. And if we want to read this, simple enough. I actually, come to think about it, I am going to delete this just to make this go a little bit cleaner. I am going to delete that hello world. So that's how we could write our high score. Now let's just pretend elsewhere in the program we want to load our high score. Simple enough. We could reopen our file in uh, so we could make our writing the file just in write mode in read mode because we can't read a file when it's in write mode or append mode so in read mode we can um, read this file dividing it like splitting the string at the tab so let's do that um, I'm going to create a uh, some array so let's call this high score array and set it equal to text dot read oops dot read dot split and we're gonna split it at the tab key so wherever there's a tab and we're gonna get an array back which okay and we'll just close our file afterwards txt Text dot close. Okay, let's run this now. Um, I'm actually going to run this in action, interaction mode. That way, I can get a hold of the array. Okay. Now, what did I call that? Uh, yes, it's been modified. So you can see here that uh, it has Adam tab two thousand. Um. So I called it high score array. Sorry, just want to remember what I called it. High score array and you can see in there I have the name of the highest score and then the uh, high score itself so I could get the high score and I could compare it so if I had some new high score you know convert the uh, number to a string so you can see here that since we read it from a file it's a string well we can convert that to a number compare it to the new person score to see if they have the high score and then, you know, write whichever one is the highest score to the file. So that's how we could do it. Um, and, you know, just print out a message. Uh, high score array at zero, which is going to be the name. Uh, has the highest score with plus high score array at 1, which is going to be the actual points. Okay, so just to show you, I'm just trying to give you an example of how you can use this. Hopefully it's not boring you too much. Okay, so it says here Adam has the highest score with 2,000 points. And if we go back here, it'll still be just one score. You could append it if you want to have multiple high scores. And like, just for an example, oops, just for an example, when you, uh, if you had multiple high scores, you could split it at each new line and then further split it at each tab for each high score. 
but I just wanted to give you some sort of practical example. Now, one other thing to mention, just say you want to, you have this file open and you want to read and write it before you close it. You can do that. It's called W+, so it allows you to read and write. That's a mode. You can do the same thing here. R+, does the exact same thing. Uh, those are some modes. There's many more. You can check some of them out on my website, codingbasics.ca. But that's all I got for you guys for now. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.